1. The three inherent powers of the state are the following except 1. Police power. Power to impeach. Power of taxation. Power of eminent domain. The power to impeach is not considered one of the inherent powers of the state. It is a legislative power used to remove officials from office for misconduct or other specified reasons. 2. The Commission on Human Rights has all the following powers and functions, except exercise visitorial powers over jails and prisons, investigate all forms of human rights violations, recommend measures to promote human rights, prosecute human rights offenders, The Commission on Human Rights does not have the power to prosecute human rights offenders. Prosecution is typically the responsibility of the judicial branch or designated prosecutorial agencies within the legal system. The Commission can investigate and recommend actions, but it does not have the prosecutorial authority. 3. The composition of the Commission on Election, Chairman and Six Commissioners, Chairman and Five Commissioners, Chairman and two commissioners, chairman and three commissioners. The composition of the Commission on Elections, COMELEC, is chairman and six commissioners. This body is responsible for administering all laws and regulations concerning the conduct of elections in the country. 4. Who shall have control of all the secretaries, prime minister, none of the above, president, speaker, The president shall have control of all the secretaries. In most governmental systems, particularly in presidential systems, the president has the authority over the executive branch, which includes the control and supervision of cabinet secretaries and other executive departments. 5. The principle of human rights which explains that rights of every Filipino cannot be taken away, mortgaged or surrendered is called universal, interdependence, inalienable, indivisible. The principle of human rights which explains that the rights of every Filipino cannot be taken away, mortgaged, or surrendered is called the inalienable principle. 6. The Philippines is a and state. Sovereignty resides in the people and all government authority emanates from them. Democratic Republican, Democratic Independent, Free Independent, Presidential Independent, the Philippines is a democratic republican state. 7. Who shall head the cabinet under the 1987 Constitution? Deputy Prime Minister, President, Speaker, Prime Minister. Under the 1987 Constitution of the Philippines, the President shall head the cabinet. 8. Who shall have the exclusive power to initiate all cases of impeachment? House of Representatives, Speaker of the House, Senate, Blue Ribbon Committee. The House of Representatives shall have the exclusive power to initiate all cases of impeachment. 9. It is the power of the electorate to approve or reject a legislation through an election called for the purpose. Plebiscite. Initiative. Petition. Referendum. The power of the electorate to approve or reject legislation through an election called for the purpose is called a referendum. 10. The penalty to be imposed upon any person who, unless authorized by law, shall sell, administer, deliver, give away to another, distribute, dispatch in transit or transport any prohibited drugs or shall act as a broker in any such transactions is imprisonment ranging from one year to 10 years and a fine ranging from 3,000 to 10,000 pesos. Imprisonment ranging from one day to one year only. Imprisonment ranging from five years to 10 years and a fine ranging from 5,000 to 10,000 pesos. Imprisonment ranging from 12 years and one day to 20 years and a fine ranging from 12,000 to 20,000 pesos.
The penalty described entails a severe punishment for individuals involved in the illegal distribution or trafficking of prohibited drugs is imprisonment ranging from 12 years and one day to 20 years. This indicates that the convicted person will face a significant period of incarceration, starting from 12 years and extending up to 20 years, with the possibility of additional time beyond the 20-year mark if the sentence exceeds a full 20 years by at least one day. 11. The Senate shall be composed of how many senators elected at large by voters of the Philippines? 22, 24, 20, 25. The Senate of the Philippines shall be composed of 24 senators elected at large by voters of the Philippines. 12. The Congress, by a vote of both houses in joint session assembled, voting separately, shall have the sole power to declare a state of war. Two-thirds. Minority. Three-quarters. One-half. The Congress, by a vote of two-thirds of both houses in joint session assembled, voting separately, shall have the sole power to declare a state of war. What part of the Constitution that recites the general principle of our government? Preamble. Effectivity Clause. Right of Suffrage. National Territory. The part of the Constitution that recites the general principle of our government is the preamble. It outlines the fundamental purposes and guiding principles of the Constitution and the government it establishes. 14. Who shall appoint the members of the Supreme Court and judges of lower courts? None of the above. Chief Justice. President. Prime Minister. The President shall appoint the members of the Supreme Court and judges of lower courts. 15. It is the electoral process by which an initiative on the Constitution is either approved or rejected by the people. Petition. Referendum. Plebiscite. Initiative. The electoral process by which an initiative on the Constitution is either approved or rejected by the people is called a plebiscite. 16. It is the power of the state to take properties for the purpose of public use upon payment of just compensation. Power of taxation. Police power. Power to impeach. Power of eminent domain. The power of the state to take properties for the purpose of public use upon payment of just compensation is called the power of eminent domain. 17. The Supreme Court shall be composed of a Chief Justice and 5. Associate Justices, 14 Associate Justices, 15 Associate Justices, 10 Associate Justices. The Supreme Court of the Philippines is indeed composed of a Chief Justice and 14 Associate Justices. 18. Under the 1987 Constitution, the term of the President is 6 years, 8 years, 10 years, 4 years. Under the 1987 Constitution of the Philippines, the term of the President is six years with no possibility of re-election. 19. The objectives of the agrarian reform program of the government is to achieve dignified existence for the small farmers, accelerate the agricultural development of the country, all of the above, prevent widespread discontent and unrest among our farmers. The correct option is all of the above. 20. The 1987 Constitution contains at least three sets of provisions. Which one of the following provisions is not included? Constitution of Sovereignty. Constitution of Government. Constitution of Universality. Constitution of Liberty. Among the options provided, the one that is not included in the 1987 Constitution is the Constitution of Universality. The Constitution primarily focuses on principles related to sovereignty, government structure, and individual liberties, but it does not explicitly mention universality as a set of provisions. 21. It states that no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor any person be denied the equal protection of the laws.
Article 6. Bill of Rights. Republic Act. Court Order. The statement, no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor any person be denied the equal protection of the laws, is found in the Bill of Rights of the 1987 Constitution of the Philippines. 22. Wanbol University expelled one of its students due to the latter's refusal to sing during the flag ceremony. The school authorities rejected the argument of the student that singing the national anthem is against the student's religious beliefs. Are the school authorities correct? No, because the words of God are supreme over all other laws, rules, and regulation. No, because it violates the right of the student to the due process and equal protection of the law. No, because it violates the freedom of religion of the student. Yes, because the obligation to the country is different from the obligation to God. The school authorities are not correct. Expelling a student for refusing to sing the national anthem due to religious beliefs violates the student's freedom of religion. In the Philippines, the Constitution guarantees the freedom of religion, which includes the freedom to act in accordance with one's religious beliefs as long as it does not infringe upon the rights of others or violate public morals, peace, safety, or welfare. 23. In order for the state to promote social justice to ensure the dignity, welfare, and security of all the people it has to equability diffuse property ownership and right. Regulate the disposition of private property. All of the above. Regulate the acquisition of private property. The correct answer is all of the above. 24. What is the term of office of the members of the House of Representatives? 10 years. 3 years. 5 years. 8 years. The term of office of members of the House of Representatives in the Philippines is three years. 25. The following are members of the Constitutional Commission except Commission on Elections, Commission on Civil Rights, Civil Service Commission, Commission on Audit. The Commission on Civil Rights is not a part of the Constitutional Commission. 26. What is the form of our government? Confederate. None of the above. Presidential. Socialistic. The form of government in the Philippines is presidential. 27. Refers to those non-dominant groups in our country which possesses and which to preserve ethnic, religious, or linguistic traditions markedly different from the rest. Indigenous cultural groups. Urban poor. Population. Religious groups. The term that refers to those non-dominant groups in our country which possess and wish to preserve ethnic, religious, or linguistic traditions markedly different from the rest is indigenous cultural groups. 28. The Commander-in-Chief of all the Armed Forces of the Philippines is the Secretary of National Defense, Chief of Staff, PNP Chief, President. The Commander-in-Chief of all the Armed Forces of the Philippines is the President. 29. It is created under the Article 9 of the 1987 Constitution. It is mandated to adopt measures to promote morale, efficiency, integrity, responsiveness, progressiveness and courtesy in the bureaucracy. Commission on Higher Education. Commission on Audit. Commission on Election. Civil Service Commission. The entity created under Article 9 of the 1987 Constitution and mandated to adopt measures to promote morale, efficiency, integrity, responsiveness, progressiveness, and courtesy in the bureaucracy is the Civil Service Commission. 30. This constitutional principle is meant that no man in the country, not even the government, is above or beyond the law. Rule of the Majority. Bill of Rights. Rule of Law. Republican Law. The constitutional principle meant to signify that no individual in the country, not even the government, is above or beyond the law is the rule of law. 31. 
The state under our present constitution recognizes the vital role of the youth in nation-building and shall intellectual well-being, promote their physical well-being, social well-being, all of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. 32. The liberty of abode and of changing the same may be impaired only upon order of the Senate. Mayor. President. Court. The liberty of abode and of changing the same may be impaired only upon order of the court. 33. The territorial and political subdivisions of the Philippines are the municipalities and barrios, provinces, cities, all of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. 34. The right to just and favorable working conditions guarantees every Filipino worker a right to limited opportunities for promotion, stricter rules on break time, none of these, fair remuneration for equal work. The right to just and favorable working conditions guarantees every Filipino worker a right to fair remuneration for equal work. This means that workers should receive fair pay for the work they perform, without discrimination based on factors such as gender, age, or ethnicity. 35. All of the following rights are guaranteed to an individual by the Constitution except the right to form unions and associations for purposes not contrary to the law, assemble and petition the government for redress of grievances, obtain scholarship grants and subsidies, have access to to official records and documents. The right to obtain scholarship grants and subsidies is not explicitly guaranteed to an individual by the Constitution. While education is considered a right and the government is tasked with promoting access to education, including scholarships and subsidies, it is not enumerated as a specific individual right within the Constitution.